Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for meeting me in the shadow of the stump. Uh, I guess you're all wondering why I've asked you all to be here today, and um, the reason is BattleBox. So, welcome to BattleBox. It's a beautiful, gorgeous Saturday afternoon, and I'm excited because BattleBox usually doesn't come this early in the month. So we are going to get into this. Now, somebody commented on another video that they can't wait to see my reaction to the knife of the month. And I, I don't know, I try to avoid as many spoilers as I can. So I don't watch any of the BattleBox leaks. I don't watch any other, um, you know, the people that BattleBox sponsors, they send them their boxes before they send anybody else's. So I don't watch any of their unboxings. So I don't know how to take that comment. I don't know if it's good, bad or ugly or what, but now I'm really curious. So, we're going to have to get into this box. And to unbox today, I actually just finished filming the unboxing and little mini review of the brand new Stat Gear Ledge, which is a world legal slip joint. So, you guys, I, you'll probably see the battle box video before you see the review of this. But we are going to use this to get into battle box today. I asked Aiden if he would come and do the battle box unboxing with me, but apparently he's with his team on Fortnite right now. Yeah. Now we know where we all stand. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, good. I was I was running out of these. I'm glad. Okay, thanks. Cool. So we have. All right, so we have mission 51. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 total items. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, they stopped putting a title on it. I guess we are truly themeless now. Just mission 51. Okay. Um, that is maybe the lowest value of any knife of the month I have ever seen. Now, <laughs> maybe, hmm, is this con by Condor? Con it says Condor Huron, but like Condor Knife and Tool, because I love Condor. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm really curious now to see what this knife of the month is. All right, but we're going to save it for last, because we always do. So, um, I'm going to explain how BattleBox works. If you know how BattleBox wor works, you can skip to this time right here to just get to the unboxing. If you don't know how BattleBox works, so there's several different um, levels. Uh, there's the basic, the advanced, the pro, and then the pro plus. Now the only difference between the pro and the pro plus is that the pro plus comes with the knife of the month. I subscribe to the pro plus, so I pay $150 a month. I get all of this. Okay, every level builds on the level before it. So like, for example, if you get the advanced, you're getting the basic and then the advanced. If you get the pro, you're getting all this, press the pl pr pl 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 sorry, plus the pro. And if you get the pro plus, of course, you get everything. So when you subscribe to a level, you can subscribe to t whichever level you want for whatever the price is, and then you get that and everything that comes before it. So when you see the, the value here, it's not the value for just the items you see, it's the value for the items you see and everything that came before it. And that's how the battle box levels work. So I am, again, not sponsored by battle box. I don't get anything for free from battle box. I pay for my battle box because I like to make straight up honest videos. However, if you like what you see and you want to subscribe to battle box, and again, I'm not suggesting you do. I'm not trying to encourage anybody to do it. I'm just saying if you were gonna do it anyway, in the video description, I have a referral link that you can use, save yourself 10 bucks, uh, and then you can get me some uh, referral credit for the channel that I can use to get further stuff later on from the Battle Box store. Uh, saves you $10, um, then you help me bring, you know, further content stuff to the channel. Um, again, only if you were gonna, if, if you like it and you're gonna subscribe to Battle Box anyway. I'm not trying to sell you on BattleBox. Um, in fact, if you watch my unboxings, a lot of the time, 
know, I'm very honest with a lot of the items that are coming in. So just, just keep that in mind though, the link's there. So I'm going to take everything out of the box and we're gonna go straight down from basic all the way to pro plus and see what we've got for this month in mission 51. So everything is out and we're ready to go through item by item. I feel like there's not a lot in the box this month. I don't know, but maybe that's just me. So also in the box we have, as we look through, one of the items is, is breakthrough clean stuff. Uh, here's a 20% off promo code for purchasing that stuff as we get there. Um, as we get to this stuff, the caffeinated snack bars, here is um, a promo thing for that too. So, we'll get that. And we've got a product catalog for Condor Knife and Tool. And like I said, I, I like Condor Knife and Tool. This is the same, you know, this catalog is the same as looking at their stuff online on the website. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of promo codes or anything, so I mean, I'm not gonna go through it all with you guys. Um, but Condor Knife and Tool does have a real rustic look to it, and they have some cool stuff. I like them, they make good things. So uh, I'm hoping we can expect something good from the Knife of the Month, but I guess we'll, you know, we'll just have to find out as we go. So let's start uh, with our basic level. Um, and I also wanna point out, so this value is based off the MSRP, and we have to stress this is MSRP. You might and often can find the stuff cheaper if you go hunting for it on your own. Anyway, let's start with the K-Bar Tactical Spork. Never thought I'd see those words together. Uh, for $7.99. And this is something that I actually, I have seen before online, and I've considered, I have, um, it's polymer. Does it unscrew or does it just pull apart? It just pulls apart. You know, a little knife. And you got a spork. So that's that's it. That's the K-Bar Tactical Spork. Um, now, K-Bar is headquartered in New York. And this says New York. Now, I'm just curious if this is made in the USA. Made in the USA. It is. Okay, they're not like trying to scam us. You know, I don't... Huh. I guess it's cool. I don't know if I like it or, or what. I don't know what the hell that was. I really feel like I'm going to put it in meh, though. So, I mean, you know, looking over these items, honestly, I think this is the first truly themeless box. We've, we've got, I mean, there is no theme and no connection to any of the items in here. So, yeah, I, I'm going to put this in meh. Just meh. Next, we've got Breakthrough Clean Military Grade Solvent for $8.95. Um, let's see. Breakthrough Military Grade Solvent. Okay, guys, so you might notice I'm inside now. You also might notice there's a little skinny leg over here. I am here now. Yeah. So uh, I forgot when I started this unboxing that these boys were promised a trip to Crystal Caves today, which was totally worth stopping the video and going, by the way. Crystal Caves was, yeah, what do you say? It was a, it, a scale of one to awesome, Aiden. Here, give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just got, this is, this is what we got when we went gem panning. Well, this is what I got. You think I got a whole nother bag. It's... And... I think going through the cave was one of the most fallout-like places yeah. we've ever been. Plus we got rock candy. Rock candy. Rock candy from the cave. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so continuing on with the breakthrough military-grade solvent. So I, I took the opportunity to look this up a little bit because I wasn't familiar with it, but everything I've read says it's great. Um, zero odor. I, I opened it up and smelled it. No odor. Um, great light oil for gun cleaning, gun oiling can use it on your knives, can use it as a protectant. So I haven't used it, but I mean, it's got great reviews from uh, all sorts of users on all sorts of different um, platforms. So what do they say this is? This is 
for this size. I've seen BattleBox give higher MSRPs for little tiny bottles of stuff. So I'm going to put this in. I like it, uh, especially since it doesn't have a, a, like an, a heavy machinery oil smell. That's pretty good. So yeah, I'll put this one in. I like it. I'm going to try it out, though. You might hear back that I'm, I'm firing it or demoting it after the video, post-video. But for right now, um, non-toxic, no smell, should be pretty good. So, you know, we'll put I like it here and we'll move Matt over there. And then we'll have don't like it right here. Yeah. And now we'll move on to the eat your coffee caffeine snack bars. We've got two of them for $4.99. That just sounds weird. That does sound weird. Um, so a cup of coffee in every bar. Well, it's like a caffeine snack. So they're just, you know, people drink coffee for caffeine. So they're saying eat your coffee. Fudgy Mocha Latte, 180 calories per bar, serving size one bar. Um, Are you going to eat that? Yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Why not? I don't need to sleep tonight. Pfft, sleep. Yeah, I don't like sleeping either. I'm not kidding. It smells like coffee. So the taste is, um, it's heavy. It, it's, uh... I have, I'm not allowed to have coffee, No, so. you're not. That's right. No, I'm not having this. But I am allowed to have my other drink. You're allowed to have a Coke on the weekend. One. Only on the weekends. Um. Yeah, it's... I mean, I, I gotta be honest. It's hard to get through. Yeah, I never really liked candy bars. It's, um, see, it's not really a candy bar. It's more like, it's like yeah, one, an energy though. bar almost. Yeah, but. It looks like a brownie. It, yeah. I mean, I can make myself eat this if I needed to. I'd much rather just drink a cup of coffee. Or an energy drink. Or whatever. I'm, uh, but yeah, I mean, to, to, for, it's, it's a really, it's a really heavy, thick, rich kind of, um, the taste isn't that bad. It, I mean, I've tasted worse. It's, it's not that good, but. It's not terrible, though. I'm not going to put it in like it, but I'm I'm not going to put it in don't like it. I'm going to put it in meh. Number one, I mean, yeah, it's not a bad thing to have with you. You need some energy on the go. You want to put it in a pack, but it's just, like I said, I, I don't have another better word to describe it than heavy. It's a very heavy, you know what it reminds me of? The old power bars, if you guys are, are as old as me. Um, the old sticky, bendy... Almost like eating a piece of clay power bar. I'm not eating that. What? I'm not eating that. I'm, I'm not taste. asking you to. So I'm not going to finish that right now. I, I might finish it throughout the course of the video just for the sake of finishing it, but we're going to move on. So finally, last item in the basic with an MSRP of $39.99. Now, this is Lord and Field, so here's the thing. This is a BattleBox-owned company, um, or the same people that own BattleBox own it, so... If you find it anywhere else for sale, like if you find it on Amazon, make sure you check who's selling it because it'll probably say sold by BattleBox or it's probably being sold on eBay by somebody else that got a BattleBox. But anyway, Lord and Field Dungaree, it's a denim micarta folding knife. Uh, which one? In the round thing over there. Oh, that's a weird thing. Yeah, you want to open it up and take it out for me? This is a super weird container for me. Yeah, so the reason it's in that paper, Aiden, is because it probably has, uh, well, it might not have a carbon steel blade, but that kind of paper has um, a wax in it that protects it from getting rusty. So denim micarta. Now, if you're not familiar what micarta is, I have a fairly popular video where I tried to make micarta out of 550 cord. Micarta takes uh, some kind of cloth. It can be made out of paper. It can be made out of different materials, but you take different layers of that material and you sandwich them together with a resin and you turn it into a, a hard scale, a hard material that you can make a scale out of. So this is denim micarta. They took denim, squished them together. I mean, really forced it together under pressure with a, an epoxy resin. Um, and here is the result. So it's basically like jeans. Your handle is made of jeans. This is also a non-locking. Oh, no, it is locking. There we go. It's a liner lock. It's a really interesting color micarta. I haven't seen anything that color before. Now, I don't know anything about this steel. I don't know if we're going to find anything about this steel. 
I almost want to hold it. You want to hold it? I just... Slight. Feels nice. Has a nice grip. Mm, it's your hand pretty well. Yeah, it's like an, it's like an Aiden-sized knife. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can you see put down? It can be one-handed. A little awkwardly, but it can be done. Just like we talked about, um, oh, not in this video. In, I talked about this in the uh, ledge video. So you can get these screw-on thumb studs for knives like this. Uh, this would be meant to be opened with two hands. Yeah, this has some oil on it from that paper. But this can be opened uh, with one. A little awkwardly where if you get um, a removable thumb stud, they could just be anchored in place. It's pretty smooth, though. I mean, once you get it going... Uh, come on, I can do it. Yeah. Pretty smooth. Lockup looks good. Alright. Yeah. Very nicely finished blade. So far, anyway. Pull. Pretty good. Pretty nice. And slice. Yeah. Very nice. Fairly decent, clean cuts. So. You know, I feel like this lockup has moved just in the time that we've been messing with it here, though. Take a look at the lockup. We're going to do the test. I don't know. What do you guys think? Seen any travel there? No stickiness, though. And centering is still pretty good. Might be a hair off, but pretty good. Um, you know what I just noticed? when I do the one-handed opening. So check this out. Uh, okay, so... Standard open, right? If I do the one-handed opening... Something about that. Does that look further open to you? Because then if I open it and let it go... Yeah. Weird. Anyway. Forty dollars? I don't know, but it is a nice knife. I do like it, so it's gonna go, and I like it. All right, so that does it for the basic. The basic this month has a total MSRP value of sixty-one ninety-two. We're now gonna go into the advanced box. We're gonna look for the Readyman Fort, the foreign object removal tools, with an MSRP of thirty-nine ninety-nine, just like the knife. Uh, no, the other one ain't in the uh, the black black, black envelopey thing. Thank you. It said multi-things. Well, Rayman, foreign object removal tools. Oh. So, foreign objects, in this case, I think would apply to foreign objects in your body. Splinters, shards of glass, metal, whatnot. So, let's see everything we've got. Alcohol pads for keeping things clean. That's always good. Um, what is this? A... Magnifier, LED, double, multiple, jewelry identifying type. I see, you got two magnifiers. There's two magnifiers um, and an LED for each of them on each side to use. And I don't think the camera is going to... Is the camera going to be able to look at that? Yeah, the camera's going to be able to look at that. Let's see. So you see how... You get it right up to the lens there. There we go. There's my fingerprints. Yeah. And then I think that this side is even... Closer. Here, let's see that. Go ahead. you want to put your finger right under there? I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's working that well. You gotta get this exactly lined up. More finger side. Anyway, it it does work. You gotta. Wow, works actually pretty well. Gotta get it lined up exactly. Oh my god, that's weird. 
Anyway, so, well, well, I'm kind of blind now. Okay, so we got the magnifier for looking for stuff. We have these little, I always view these as little sewing kit scissors. How cute. These always came in little sewing kits, but. Oh, those are small. Yeah. I had no idea how that worked for a second. That's the little scissors. We've got. Tweezers. Tweezers, but these look like, I had just talked about in Barrel and Blade jeweler's forceps. These are not quite jeweler's forceps, but uh, these are the, the very extremely accurate and tiny tweezers to grab stuff. And these give you, see the extra, the pads there for grabbing and actually gripping things. And then now these pieces here, so these little rods can unscrew and give you the things you need to kind of poke and prod and uh, let me assemble these implements. So various probes to dig into things and under things. And here's another one. And then different ways to, again, get into places and hook different embedded objects, splinters and such, and grab them and pull them out or get them in a position where you can tweeze them. Um, this is an interesting item. This would be a great addition to a field first aid kit. Or a bug out bag. Or a bug out bag, yeah. This is going to allow you to remove some stuff that you might not otherwise get. And I know it sounds a little melodramatic, but you know, an embedded piece of like, like steel wire, if you're out working on a fence or something, can lead to a serious infection. If you are in like inside a bug out situation and you can't get that piece of, you know, dirty wire out and clean the area, I could literally kill you out there one day. So this is actually a pretty cool set. Now, I don't know uh, how the price compares. I I've actually never had a specific set like this. I've had field surgical kits that have had tools like this in them. Um, with some, you know, other stuff, but I've never had a specific foreign object removal set just like this. But I do like this, and I think it gives you some really useful items to use. I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, but I, as I said earlier, kind of unrelated to looking at this item, yeah, BattleBox has truly gone themeless. Like, nothing in this box is connected to anything else in this box at all, which I think is um, actually a nice step for the themeless thing they wanted to do. So the fort definitely goes into the like it pile. Aiden, what is next? The Going Gear Micro Driver and Bit Set for fourteen ninety nine. Alright, you wanna hand it over? Oh. Let's see what we've got here. Going Gear has been working a lot with BattleBox lately. Now I have um, a couple different micro driver sets like this that I use for working on knives, and you guys have seen a few in some different videos. This is a nice one because I like metal. I mean, so we unscrew, we take the bit. Let's see, do we have a Torx uh, a T6? This is one of the basically the most common size that I find working with knives. That is very secure. And then what's cool about this one that I like is that it's got that free spinning uh, cap so you can just put this up against whatever put that in the palm of your hand and use that to hold it and just spin without having to like, take it out and reposition that's useful um, so yeah that's pretty cool uh, what's the cost on that in that the cost will be 14.99 so you get the handle which i'm pretty sure is uh, aluminum nice and grippy you get 24 bits and you get some tweezers, which are not the highest quality tweezers, to tell you the truth, but I don't think that they're intended to be either. They're probably just meant to hold little pieces or pick stuff up as you're working on things. Um, nice little carrying case. Uh, I have seen I have seen worse kits for this price, though. I mean, this is pretty good. Um, there are some kits that offer you a lot more options in terms of bit size, but you could always just combine this with other bits. This is a really secure driver, and I don't know, feels good to use. I mean, really grippy in your hands. This is the one I like it. Price is good for, especially, you know, a nice aluminum driver like this and everything. And 
We'll go put that in the I like it. Definitely a useful tool. All right, so that is everything that's in the advanced, the advanced box. So all this and this will give you an MSRP of $116.90. And now we're gonna move into the Pro Box. The, there's two items in the Pro Box. One is free. This is free, 16 gigabyte SD card. Of note that mine was uh, busted open and the SD card is floating around in the box somewhere when I got it. So hopefully it's not damaged and it works. Um, but we are gonna look at the Wild Game Innovations Terra Extreme 10 Trail Camera for $49.99. Aiden would already like to claim the trail camera. I would like to claim so, one thing from every box. You want to claim almost everything from every box. No, I don't. So we've got 60 foot illumination range, um, less than one second trigger speed, 21 infrared LEDs, um, HD 720p, nice video, and one year battery life. <clears throat> so, 10 megapixels. So this will record in, uh, I, I guess, night vision and regular. We need eight AA batteries. We even have any more AA batteries? Aiden, guess where we're going tonight? Walmart. Yeah. So what we will do is, here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, open up the package. We're going to look at it. I've never used a trail camera. Me neither, but I want it. But you want it. So, well, there it is. Um, I guess we got to unscrew the whole thing to put the batteries in. Um, it, I mean, there's not much to look at right now. So, oh, no, we don't. It's got a latch. That's nice. Um, and then battery compartment. And we can put the SD card in. So, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put the SD card in. Um, we've got controls, but you know what? We need to get batteries to turn it all on. Now, this is rubber gasketed, so waterproof and such. So, it could be good for fishing, for hunting, or whole bunch of other stuff. just security on your site, wherever you set yourself up. But, yeah. I mean, obviously, trail camera is usually used for gaming purposes. Um, so, we've got... Gaming, I mean game, not like playing games, but um, bungees to attach it to trees or fences and stuff like that. Two bungees so you can attach it as you will. So it, it looks like it's, you know, pretty straightforward to use. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish the rest of this unboxing, and then we are going to run to Walmart and get some batteries to put in this thing. We're going to put it outside. We're going to test it out, show you some of the video. So what you're actually going to see now um, comes after we've done everything else. So uh, we will decide where we're going to put this at the end of the video. So right now this is an aim in Aiden's famous limbo pile up here. I made that in a video a long time ago. But since uh, by the time we're all done with this, we will have the footage for it. Here's, here's what it looks like when it records stuff. So that was the Pro Box. Only one real item there gives you a value of $173.29. Now we're moving into my very favorite part of the box, the Pro Plus, the knife of the month. Uh, this is one of the things I love most about Battle Box. We are going to look at the Condor Huron, Condor Knife and Tool Huron 1095 high carbon steel with leather sheath. 
with a value of eighty-four ninety-eight. Um, now again, I, I told you in the beginning, I was told that somebody can't wait to see my reaction to this knife of the month. It is both ominous and curious. I like Condor Knife and Tool. They've put out some really good stuff in the past. Do not eat this. Their leather sheets are some of the best. I mean, you should, I wish you could you smell that. It's delicious. Uh, made in El Salvador. No, their, their, their stuff is, a lot of it is handmade. Really well done. Uh, we're not even looking at the blade yet. But just take a look at the handcrafting on that handle. The pin work. The woodwork. Um, the brass wire wrapped around. It's a little small. Uh, mm. A little uneven, too, on the handle. Um, hmm. You can see it. Okay. I think I'm starting to see what that gentleman saw when he said he can't wait to see my reaction to this knife. No. Oh. Well, it's not the worst blade I've ever seen. Um... It's got a, a convex edge on it, which you don't see every day. Uh, uh, okay, so let me... Hmm. There is a lot of stuff in Condor Knife and Tool. Um, a lot of different knives. A lot of very, very attractive and well-made stuff. Um... Like, a lot. You look in their tactical section, a lot of stuff. Really cool. Uh, look, more tactical. And then outdoors. Um, a lot of stuff. Here's the Huron, which... I guess this is, yeah. Um, more outdoors. Look at all these outdoors choices. Look how well made some of them look. Look, look at the Moonshiner knife. Yeah, that's really cool. The Rodan, that's that's pretty awesome. I mean, Hudson Bay, that looks like that would be a, a pretty good knife. Um, what, do we, what do we have here? Oh, Survival. What are the Survivals? Well, the Condor, uh, Pterosaur, that looks that looks like it would be really, really, like, very bushcraft-like, you know? Um, ooh. The Selkdom, that's, that's pretty good looking. I'd like to try that out. We got the primitive once. That was that was good. Uh, the bush lore, like all these fine choices. I mean, so many. We get this little guy as the knife of the month. Um, now I don't mind the rough look, the rustic finish. I, I that's fine with me. So what this looks like to me is that you know it, it was heat treated and then taken right for grinding, and then you have the scale from heat treating on there. That's fine. I don't mind that. Um, I just, it's kind of an awkward size and shape. Um, and I think that there are so many other condor knife and tool choices that would make a better knife in the month. Something like this, I think, would be like a knife in the advanced or the pro, but not a knife in the month. Um, I mean, Condor Knife and Tool, though, again, they, they do make very nicely made stuff. <laughs> That'll teach me. That'll teach me to have faith in a company. Let me just do a little corner. Can I get a little corner? Can I cut a little corner off? You guys who have been with my channel for a while know how often, how often do I not like a knife of the month? Let's see. Mm. Well, that was, that was pretty nice, actually. That was easier than I thought, especially considering the paper test we just did. But, I mean, it's not very clean. It's still a cut. It just doesn't have... 
it doesn't have much weight at all. I mean, it, it doesn't have much design. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't have much design to it at all. It really doesn't. It, um... It just is. It just is. There are so many choices with Condor. And this is what they went with? Probably just because they got a good deal on it. You got... Uh, mm. The thing that I can say for sure, though, is that it's a Condor knife. You know, it's, it's going to be a reliable piece of metal. Even though it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, it's, it's going to last. It does have, I don't know what was up with the paper test, but I mean, it's going to have that convex. Convex edge is one of the toughest edges you can have. The convex blade grind. Um, least likely prone to chipping and stuff like that. And it will hold that edge and it'll be tough. It, it doesn't have the leverage to do, like, good chopping. A, a blade shape like this would be great for chopping-type tasks and stuff. And that nice big sweep of the belly should give you a lot of slicing power, um, even in something this size. But I'm just, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in this month. I, I mean, this is not the best they could do. It's still a nice collection piece, just it's not the functional piece that I would have liked. This is going to go in math. A knife of the month in meh, but then again in January we had a knife of the month and don't like it. So that's that's disappointing. That's disappointing. So let's tally up what we've got. So in the like it pile we've got one, two, three, four, five items in meh. One, because these are like one item. One, two, three. Really uh, interested in finding some cool things to do with this and different ways to use this and mess with it. Um, I mean, I've never had a trail camera before, but it could be interesting. My favorite part about it is just I like cameras. Okay, I there like you go. Like that. There you go. Um, the rest of it, you know, I mean, it, it just, I, this is an interesting little knife. Um, can attach a little lanyard there since it's got no clip or whatever. For pocket carry but it's a, it's a nice lightweight just general little knife uh really cool the foreign body kit i think is really interesting to have very very useful tool set for anybody that does work on knives or, or anything similar like that i mean there's so many uses for this and you know um, just in general an interesting box uh not nearly my favorite box from battle box though uh, I felt like there was, you know, just these kind of waves, like roller coaster of happy and meh as we went. But do I feel like I got my money's worth out of this box? No, I do not. I, I do not. What do you guys think? Well, you know, those of you who got the box, you agree, disagree with our rankings of stuff, or those of you who didn't get the box, do you, I mean, you too, do you agree, disagree? Um, anything that you really like, that you don't like, what do you guys think? What are your opinions? So... Like I said earlier, if you uh, do like what you see and you're thinking of subscribing to BattleBox anyway, again, don't buy it because of anything I said or didn't say. If you're going to buy it, buy it only because you like what you see in the box. That's the only reason you should. But there's a referral code in the video description. Save yourself $10 off your first box and uh, help this channel out a little bit. There's all sorts of other links in the video description as well that you should take the time to check out. So... As always, guys, we appreciate every single one of you. You guys are all absolutely awesome. And we will be back again real soon. Bye.